Uh, I think everyone was so excited. Uh, we had worked really hard. I'd worked really hard. I built a great team. My family was certainly part of it. My daughters were really involved in my campaign, my husband behind the scenes. Uh, and so it was just a really great night. You know, at the end, uh, I thought we had a really, really good shot. Uh, certainly, I was the underdog, uh, and a lot of people were surprised. Uh, I think a lot of journalists uh, were certainly surprised. But we, I had been working at this uh, for the better part of a year and a half, and I had built a great team, and we just knocked on doors. And I knew from, from politicians that were successful that most one of the most important things you can do is get out and talk to people and knock on doors. So we just chipped away at it. By the end, I could certainly feel the momentum building, and we had a great national campaign. So our leader, now uh, the Prime Minister, uh, he, you know, he works really hard too. And he instilled in us the importance of just getting out there, working hard, meeting people. And because there was a, you know, obviously there, we were doing really well nationally, a lot of people saw me as a really, you know, hopefully a viable, good option, and they voted for me. So it was, you know, I don't know if it was a total surprise, uh, but we'd certainly worked hard for it. Well, I would like to, the, our team to take some credit for it uh, during the, the course of the campaign. And by that, I don't mean just the, during the writ period, but over the past year and a half, we knocked on more, more than 100,000 doors. And so we reached a lot of people. And I think we got a lot of people excited about politics. And certainly people in Ottawa Centre, they pay more attention and they were pretty motivated to get a new government. Uh, but I think we were able to reach out to new voters. And you know that really made a difference. I think it made a difference uh, to help me get elected. And I think it's also just really important that, uh, that people get engaged. And I had said from the start that I was in this to win, but I was also in it to get as many people excited about politics and talking about politics and feeling good about about politics and I think we achieved that. Well, you know, Paul Dewar was a really great MP. He worked really, really hard. And I think for a lot of people, they felt a bit conflicted because they felt that there were two good choices. And, uh, you know, I had to make the case, you know, to them that I would work as hard, uh, that I was a good option, and obviously that we had a great platform. And so, I mean, I certainly hope to, to follow in the shoes of Paul Dewar. He was, you know, great on international issues. He cared a lot about the community. And I plan to work really hard uh, and, you know, be a strong voice for Ottawa center in the next parliament. Well, certainly representing the interests uh, of the residents of Ottawa Centre. And the good thing is when you knock on doors, you hear what people are thinking, the real issues, a little bit outside the bubble. And I mean, it's everything from you know stronger economy and more jobs. Uh, there's a lot of unemployment, especially youth unemployment and underemployment. So that's something I'm absolutely committed to. A lot of seniors are struggling. Uh, so part of our platform uh, is to support lower income seniors. And then in, obviously respect for the public service is something critical. We we have a lot of public servants in this riding, uh, and our party uh, and myself personally, we're very committed to working in partnership with public service and the restoring the frank and fearless advice part of the mandate. Um, and there, there's other issues like the memorial to victims of communism. There's certainly a lot of controversy around that, and I think we need to revisit it and look at a new location and also better understand what happened in the process. I've talked about uh, the need for more and better affordable housing, uh, so I'll certainly be working with the city, uh, the province and local community groups in that area and, and I mean I have a full agenda so what's exciting is during the campaign I made announcements that were based on feedback that I heard uh, so I'm really looking forward to working hard to make sure that, that I'm able to deliver on all of those. I mean, I think that, uh, I mean, it's both a challenge and opportunity. I think, you know, I've talked about the public service. I think that a lot of public servants were really demoralized. And I think it's, you know, one, develop, you know, having a very different tone. That this idea is that we're working together uh, to deliver services to Canadians, to have good policy that support Canadians. Um, and so, you know, we need to make the case to the public service that that's what we want to do, that we want to be true partners. But I think it's a real opportunity because I know a lot of, you know, you know, the, I've met a lot of great public servants and they want to be able to do their job to the best of their ability and so you know that's a, that's the plan that we are going to work with them to do that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard this question before. Uh, you know what, as a, I'm working hard to represent the people of Ottawa Centre. I'm obviously happy to serve the Prime Minister in any capacity, uh, but my focus is right now, you know, first of all getting my blackberries and getting my office set up, um, but looking at how we can advance the agenda here in Ottawa Centre.